so not what I wanted. Oh, now what? <clears throat> That's so cool looking. <laughs> that right there is really cool looking. Ah, uh, all right here. How to shape this and keep that and keep that and deal with that. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna come in just a little bit more, make that go away. I'm gonna tell you what, that stuff is hard. <laughs> I expected a lot of tear out and it's like shiny, <laughs> kinda. All right, well, I'll try to cut that in some more uh, because of all the issues. I decided I'm going to uh, 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 make a hollow-ish type form, I guess. But, <laughs> it's hard. It's really hard. <laughs> I'm telling you, that is the best I can do. Dust. I think I can live with that. All right, let's get a, oh, it really, really sucks I had to do that. I lost all the resin doing that, <laughs> you know? But okay, let's uh, see if I can get a bottom on this thing.
My wood screams, Billy. <laughs> kind of like those colors. Y'all yeah, know y'all can't see it. <laughs> take, take a peek real quick. Here. Oh, oh. You guys will stay where I put you. It might be okay. <laughs> Alright, so. <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to, um, you know, uh, clean this up a little bit and then, uh, Get the axe finish on it. Well, that looks really good. So uh, let me get this off here, get it turned around, and we'll start on the other side and hollowing it out. I'm going to try to clean some of this wax out of here first. A little bit of air. Well, oh boy, that, I was not prepared for how hard this wood is. Uh, so, uh, I think, I'm going to force her bit out and I'm going to drill a hole through this. Probably in steps, because it's really hard. So I'm going to go with a smaller one, and then a bigger one, and then a bigger one. And then I'm going to start turning it, and I'm probably going to graduate through that, because it's going to take me a long time to turn this. Yeah, whose brain idea was it to use this wood? <laughs> Better yet, whose bright idea was it to do this shape? It was her idea to do this shape. Her idea. It was all her idea. <laughs> all right, let me get the let me get the Forster bits out. It spun this whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing spun. The chuck was just a going.
Let's not do that either. <laughs> I'm even going with that. Ain't messing with it no more. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, over there too. I suppose I could have went a little bit further out that way. Uh, I just don't want to push my luck. So we're going to sand it. I uh, might make you watch a little bit of it. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. How about we'll make you watch um, this one? <laughs> Okay, so what I did notice, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I noticed some scratches here. Uh, uh, can you see them? I can't really see them in the, in the monitor, so. But anyways, they go this way, so I, I'm assuming that they're scratches from the drilling itself, or the drill and the sander. Uh, so I'm gonna redo this, not on camera. So y'all don't have to watch it <laughs> and then uh, try to get this straightened back up we'll come back in when we're putting a finish coat on i'm probably going to have to redo the outside again but no big deal we'll get it we'll get it done and then uh i sanded up to 600 uh, both ways actually i can't get rid of this right here you see it and then there was a little bit somewhere I saw it and I don't know how it got there here uh, I'm having a real issue with it and I'm not quite sure why so I'm gonna put sanding sealer on it and then uh, we'll hit it with the axe stuff and hopefully that that'll take that out of there I know I could not you can see I, I rolled it out a little bit I went back and turned this some more and tried to get that to come out and I can't get that out of there so I'm hoping that the abrasive paste will do the trick.
Okay, that looks much better up here anyways. Well, it actually looks pretty good <laughs> considering how hard this wood is. Now, right there, right, right there, that piece right there, that is another piece of this stuff. And uh, I'd sent some when Rod Humphrey was in town. I sent a piece with Rod Humphrey. Now I understand why he hasn't turned it yet. <laughs> Besides it was wet. It was like turning a chunk of concrete. Good luck with that, Rod. <laughs> but anyways, there's my little piece. Uh, it, it isn't what I wanted. It still looks good. I had help with the design, trying to work with the mistake I had going with the weights sliding off the, like they did. And they were just, you know, in, they, they just took up way too much one side of it. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. But other than that, this looks pretty pretty darn good. So uh, I'm gonna get this off of here. Uh, actually, what I'm gonna do is pretty late right now. I'm gonna leave it right there where it's at. Uh, I got a lot of editing to do, and I gotta do the outro still. So sticker board, probably tomorrow, and we'll see you all then. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, you notice me messing with the little fox over there on the lead? Uh, it's. Is it out of the woods? Out of the woods. Claire's channel. Uh, she made some really cool things this last couple weeks. Um, a little yak, I think. And a sheep or goat or a ram. Some, something like that. And then a bowl full of worms. <laughs> so uh, I'll put a link for that way. Claire's channel in the corner over there. Go check her out. And, well, um, <laughs> so anywho, um, here's my bowl. Uh, this did not go as planned. Nothing ever does. You know how it is. But uh, I still managed to get the project. I burned up way more of the resin than I really wanted to because the mishap in the pressure pot. And I'm not sure how that happened. I don't believe I moved it to knock it down. I think I just left it that way. But who knows? But <laughs> it is what it is. But anyways, I was going for a Joker bowl with the purple, the plum crazy purple. Um, the the P Town subby that you seen at the beginning. That was the first order I got from them. Uh, pretty quick, by the way. So I ordered the Caster's Choice colors. Uh, uh, lime green and plum crazy purple, I believe it was. I ordered a few more also. Uh, P-Town Subby, I'll put that info in in the description below. Along with Claire's info in the description below. And somewhere back there we've seen Kim. Because, you know, it's her, her idea to go this shape to try to save it. Which it, it did. I mean, I, I was just like... What do I do with it? So, uh, thank you, Kim. So we'll put Kim down there in the description below too because I already put her stuff way back there where we showed you her. Uh, this is a piece of locust. Is it locust or locust? But I, I don't know. It's a chunk of concrete is what it is. <laughs> um, this stuff is really hard. And like when I say there's a place for carbide cutters, here it is right here. This is the place for it right there. Carbide cutters because you can't turn this. I mean, you can, but... Carbide cutters made it so much easier to turn. Other than that, uh, this is heavy. I think uh, it's a little thick here. I might be a uh, half inch thick maybe. I'm not positive. Because I don't have one of those things. But it is heavy and it does have some weight to it. But I, I'm thin here. And I'm thin here. I know I'm thin there. That's why I stopped. Uh, so, you know, here's my logo. My Catch It On Fire logo. Uh, the Joker I was trying to go for with the purple and the green, uh, the Joker, uh, or, or I guess you could go with the Incredible Hulk because, you know, purple pants and he was green, but, <laughs> so, so that's my bowl, uh, I did, I poured a little too much resin, so I poured a pen blank, and there it is, it's got aluminum honeycomb in it that I got from Zach Higgins, we'll put that in the description below also, so if you want some of that, I think I'm going to cut these up get them cleaned up because it's sharp at the moment but uh and maybe have the wife put these in there I, I just didn't know what to do with it i'm like oh i got that sitting in there so i poured the pen branks with the extra so if somebody's interested in those they'll be in the etsy shop and then um of course this will probably be in the etsy shop that info is all in the description below anyways give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down we'll see y'all next week